All right, y'all already know. So Lil Dirk, Smirk, Smirkio. Y'all know that right now he is fighting for his life. And he has been hit with federal charges. And uh, as they, the federal government is saying that he orchestrated a uh, unaliving for hire targeting fellow rapper Quando Rondo, which resulted in the deletion of Quando Rondo's cousin, Lil Pab, in August 2022. And the prosecutors claimed the motive was in retaliation of the 22 2020 deletion of uh king von now dirk's been locked up for a few weeks the feds claim he was trying to get out the country and they stopped him on the way to the airport but he has now hired a uh famous high-powered attorney in which the 50 cent actually co-signed now little dirk has a new rapper Drew, i mean rapper lawyer drew findings i believe that's how you say his last name and he's actually helped people like cardi b Lil baby so on and so forth right he's kind of like the um uh who was the lawyer for death row david kenner yeah david kenner so now look uh fifth actually wrote quotes on instagram Lil dirt got got drew finding on the case uh if the prosecution didn't cross their t's and dot their i's he's going to hit the bricks again now I, I, let, let me say this right look i'm sure Lil dirt this is about to be a multi-million dollar case and i'm just throwing out a, a random number let's just say he spends uh three four million dollars on the case right him and the his record company but also the federal government they have endless resources too so they got uh a 30 million dollar budget for this right and they want to make an example out of him and i just did some research and um per 22 uh, in the u.s federal criminal justice system the likelihood of a defendant winning a trial is notably low in the physical year of 2022 out of 71,951 federal criminal uh defendants only 290 approximately 0.4 percent went to trial and were acquitted an additional 1,079 defendants, 1.9% 1 went to trial and were found guilty. The vast majority, about 89%, chose to plead guilty, while 8%, 8.2% defended their, or had their cases dismissed. So basically, he's in a long shot of a long shot of a long shot of winning this. And um, yeah, let's just say hypothetically, the pro well, let's say hypothetically the prosecution does mess up. It's so low, they're already talking about adding on more charges on him just to make sure stuff stick. If those uh, guys, they said allegedly OTF Jam, if, if one of them told on Lil Dirk or one of them, uh, one of them people fold, it's over. It's over for Dirk. I think Dirk saw the writing on the wall, which is why he was starting to push for peace. And I also seen this a while ago where they was like, are the feds watching him? And you can see he wanted to clean up his image and just get away from all the demons and stuff. But unfortunately it was too late. One thing about the feds, when they coming, they're coming. And it just off the top of my head, the last people I know who beat the feds was Irv Gotti, Ja Rule, Chris Gotti and Murder Inc. And at the end of the day, they the federal government still won because it broke the it broke Murder Inc. They lost their distribution with Def Jam. Fifty was hot, and they really couldn't come back and dis and diss them because the feds raided all their stuff, and they never really fully recovered. Yeah, you had Lloyd came out with a couple of hits, but the Inc. or Murder Inc was never the same anymore. And this is what's about to go on with Lil Dirk. It's hard for me to believe that dirk is going to get off now maybe maybe they'll plead out and be like dirk you you know look we'll give you 40 but that's where we starting at and then you know maybe they'll negotiate to maybe 35 or something but it's when the federal government you see big meats just got out after doing a dub casanova got to do 15 years they got takashi ticks nine to go from being a tough guy to telling on everybody in a few minutes the federal government this isn't state this isn't your state government this is the united states of america versus little dirk when they come in they will wait for years and have everything lined up the did y'all not see what happened to the old block six they waited what uh two years two years to finally go get them and one of the people who they said would be sitting in jail right now had uh deleted himself so uh uh he he ended up getting off but everybody else has, has locked up none of these people are going to get out and the feds they want to make an example out of diddy they want to make an example out of dirk and what people don't understand is while dirk got money they print the money that dirk has and if the feds spend all that money on him and he's found guilty Dirk will never see the light of day again. Y'all, his music will live forever. His physical being will not be out there. And it's just unfortunate because this brother had all the talent in the world. And I really hope that he had nothing to do with this. 
when it comes to the feds, I mean, they got wiretaps, they got cell phone records, they got everything you can think of. Hell, probably even satellite images just to prove a point. And they also, they want to, they, they, in my opinion, they want to put hip hop on under, honestly, you know, especially when you got somebody like Dirk who made these record companies tens of millions of dollars. And then all of a sudden now you want to, you want to start pushing peace. No, nah, man, they not for that. That messes up the narrative. So don't be surprised if the higher ups is after Dirk. And when I'm saying the higher ups, I'm talking about the feds, you know, the, the real, the real uh, gangsters out here, the real street dudes is out here. So, you know, at this moment, I know Dirk got this lawyer, but we talking about the feds. Remember, oh. <laughs> Only 0.4% of people went to trial in one day case. So I just want to give my quick thoughts about it. I mean, do y'all think Dirk has a remote chance? Or do y'all think that, you know, maybe they'll negotiate something? Like I said, I remember Casanova, uh, he was, you know, out here and then the feds came and got him and now he got to do 15, you know? So I just want to give my quick thoughts about it. Tell me what y'all think.